Hey guys, this is Emmanuel with Funtown RV. I work with the RV ASAP internet sales team here, and today we're gonna be doing a walkthrough of the Rockwood Mini Light 2509S. Before we get into it, I wanna shout out our Facebook group, Texas RV Buy, Sell, and Trade Tips. Go join the group, find out the great hacks and tips for buying your next RV. Now, let's go take a look at this Rockwood. Hey guys, I'm very excited about this Rockwood here that we have. This is gonna be a part of our liquidation sale, 2022 model, and there's a lot of great features on this Rockwood. This is gonna be a bunk model. We're also gonna have a Murphy bed. You'll see how amazing that floor plan is here in a little bit. Starting up front, we're gonna have our electric tongue jack here, dual 30 propane tanks, and we're gonna have our dual batteries. This camper is also gonna have a solar package on it, which includes an inverter and a controller and a solar panel up top. Guys, up front, you're gonna have our signature mini light Rockwood window here. There's gonna be automotive glass here for the window. It's gonna be nice and tinted to keep it cool on the inside. We're gonna have our LED strip down below for docking late at night. And you're gonna also notice once you're in this camper that the insulation is top notch. It has a full radiant barrier that goes from this front cap all the way over the top of the roof. All right, coming along the side of this Rockwood mini light here, we're gonna have prep for additional solar power on the exterior of this camper, which is a great quality to have here. Uh, we're also gonna have this pass-through storage. It's gonna look a little bit blocked off initially, but just wait till we get on the inside. This is gonna be an awesome feature that you're gonna see here in a second. And then coming along the side, we're gonna have a nice large electric awning. A nice feature to see here, this is very refreshing, is the step above went a step above with the zero gravity steps this time. Check it out, I don't even have to use my hands and it will kind of stabilize itself in the middle of the air. Just makes it a lot easier to tuck without any extra effort. It's also gonna be nice, you know, for adjusting to any different ground that we're gonna be camping on. So really nice feature. We're also gonna have our friction door. It's gonna allow, you know, you not to have the door follow you and slam behind you, things like that. This camper will also have a screen door. I know, simple, but comes in handy. Guys, the thoughtfulness on this mini light is unreal. Rockwood really went above and beyond with every little feature, including this kind of blackout shade built into the door. Super cool. We are also gonna have our griddle so we're actually gonna have, this camper is gonna come with a griddle top as well as a dual stove top here. So really cool to have both setups. It is also gonna have two ports for propane connection. The Insignia mini fridge is gonna come standard in this camper as well. This offers a nice little outdoor kitchen setup right underneath your beautiful awning. And if you guys wanna keep the party going on the outside, we do have our water marine grade speakers up top. All right guys, if y'all take a step back with me here and take a look at the top of this camper, you'll see our antenna. It's also gonna be our Wi-Fi booster as well. That's a really cool feature. Heading over to the back, around the back, we're gonna have a standard ladder that does come with this mini light here. It accesses the fully walkable roof. Up there, you would see a 15K AC that also comes standard on these mini lights here at Funtown RV. It's also gonna have a vent cover that comes already installed from the factory, which if you know, that's a great feature to come standard. Here we're gonna have our spare tire with our spare tire cover. We're also gonna have a receiver hitch all ready to go down here. It is gonna require uh, the ball, but this is gonna allow you to add a rack to the back of your mini light, which is an awesome feature as well. Makes it very accessible uh, whenever we have bikes back there, luggages, things like that. You will notice on these Rockwoods, on these mini lights, 2509S's here at Funtown RV, we're gonna have our manual standard uh, stabilizer jacks here. Makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more reliable than having maybe the electric ones. At times we do carry them, but we notice our customers raving about having manual versus electric stabilizers, so that's why we have them here. On the driver's side of this mini light here, we're, we are gonna notice the 30 amp plug. This is a 30 amp service trailer which is super cool, super flexible. It does have the 115K AC. We're also gonna have our hookups here for, ca for cable, city water connections. Down below, you'll see your low point drain. 
We're also gonna have an outdoor shower with this camper. And if you look up here, we have a window. This window does go uh, to the restroom. So you have a little bit of that sunlight coming into the restroom with you. On the slide, this is super cool feature that Rockwood included was windows that do open on the inside, on the side here of this slide. We're also gonna have a nice large window here on the front side of this slide. And we also do have some additional storage that Rockwood built into this camper here. It goes a little bit deeper uh, as you will see. And it does have carpet lined at the bottom here. As you're looking inside, you'll notice what sets Rockwood apart is the fully aluminum structure even in the slides. These Rockwoods do come with the Endurance Goodyear tires standard, which just adds to the value of this Rockwood. Guys, and we also have a very unique storage space here that Rockwood included. You can tell they're maximizing every single square inch of this camper here. It's gonna be a vertical storage space. This is gonna be great if we're gonna be carrying along bottle jacks, if we're gonna have brooms, vacuum cleaners, things like that to store in here. This can really come in handy. All right guys, and here we're just gonna have the opposite side of that front pass-through storage. You're gonna see an additional window right over here. This is gonna be in our dinette area slash bedroom. And we're also gonna have water connection, docking lights. So just so you're clear, these are docking lights. This isn't for any kind of electric jack, but this is for the docking lights on the front of this camper. All right guys, before we take a look inside this mini light, I wanna say to don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also I wanna shout out mycamptownoutfitters.com. That's gonna be where you're gonna get all your accessories here at Funtown for your RV or for your camping experience. We're gonna include everything from hitches, fridges, RV furniture. This is gonna include uh, the little goodies that you need for your picnic outside, tables, chairs, whatever you need. You can even get your camptown slash funtown gear there at mycamptownoutfitters.com. Go take a look, guys. This is gonna be a Murphy bed floor plan, as I mentioned before. I also mentioned earlier with that pass-through storage on the outside that I had a secret for you guys. I had a little surprise. And that surprise is that on this Rockwood, they do a great job at maximizing the storage. Instead of the pass-through storage going underneath the camper, the pass-through storage actually goes right underneath this sofa here. So you can access all your goodies that you put in from the outside, from the inside. So also here towards the Murphy bed on the left hand side when you're sitting on this sofa here or laying in the bed, you're going to have these built in nightstands and built into the nightstands we're going to have our plugs, USB and traditional plugs and also our light switch so we can handle the lights while we're laying in bed or laying on the sofa. This bed's also going to sport massive closet space on each side of this Murphy bed. If you take a look at that, it's super deep and spacious. Once again, can't say enough about how much storage space Rockwood decided to include into this camper. Once again, the closet space. We do have a drawer on each side as well, which will be nice, you know, for socks, things like that. We're also going to have our inverter for the lights. All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up this Murphy bed in this Rockwood mini light. First, you want to pull the bed flat like so. Then we simply unlatch the bed from the wall. You want to be careful bringing this down. You don't catch your finger. And the bed will come down with it. It's very light. Once we pull this lever here, we're able to set up our legs. And just so you know, this is going to be a camp queen. So just keep that in mind as well. Still plenty large. I am 6'2", and I fit on this bed nice and comfor comfortably. Uh, I do also want to point out that on either side of this bed, we're going to have windows that do open up, and they do come with blackout roller shades. So that's pretty cool. Right above us also, there's an option. You'll see it's an option for a second air vent right above this Murphy bed. The signature Rockwood front window with some more blinds here for privacy and to block out the lining as well. One more thing, we have additional plugs right here to the side on the right hand side when you're laying on the bed. Once you walk into the camper here, we're gonna have our control panel where we're gonna be able to control uh, the electronics. We do have 12 volt heaters on this mini, mini light here and we do control them from the same panel. Uh, we also have our stereo setup 
where we access the speakers to the inside and the outside with the AM and FM connection. We're gonna have our solar controller underneath that, which is great to have all these panels here in the same spot. We have additional storage on the outside of this kitchen peninsula, which is great. We're going to have additional plugs as well. And the TV that we have in this mini light is gonna be a 32 inch HD LED and it's gonna be on a swivel mount, so that way you can watch TV from the sofa, from the U-shaped dinette. Here we're gonna have our solid surface countertops. These are really beautiful and smooth. A dual basin sink that comes with a uh, drying rack as well. Built-in wireless charger, which also does pop up out of the actual countertop uh, to show more plugs, traditional plugins, and also USB and a lightning cable, which is Really cool. Also in this camper, you'll notice that we feel like we have so much more space here than you might actually pick up from the specs. A big reason is because we have so many windows in this camper. Most of these windows do open up as well, including right here in the kitchen space. We have two large windows that do open up, which is awesome if you wanna have some cool air coming through as we're cooking in the kitchen. Speaking of, we are gonna have our Magic Chef three, three burner stovetop here. Our nice oven above that above the stove tops we're going to have our graystone uh, air vent and we're also going to have magic chef microwave and stainless steel a lot of these mini lights have the option to get gas or electric or 12 volt fridges here at Funtown, we're going to be carrying the 12 volt fridges here standard you can see how cold that is in there already we just have this plugged in for the early part of the day. Right above me, we're gonna have our 15,000 BTU AC unit that is fully ducted in this camper. Awesome addition to have. We're also gonna have all this beautiful lighting. As you look around this camper, it's gonna provide so much beautiful lighting and uh, ambiance here, just with all the lights that we have in every single inch of this camper. They really do not miss anything when it comes to lighting in this mini light. As we move towards the dinette, you'll see we're also gonna have additional pantry space, as if we didn't have enough space already. Guys, this dinette is massive for this mini light. Another cool way that, that Rockwood maximized the space here is by this U-shaped dinette. This is gonna be about seven feet long. I'm 6'2", I'll fit in this comfortably. I'll show you that in a second here. We also have our table that does is removable, so if we, wanted, if we wanted to take this table outside for a picnic, we definitely could. And uh, again, we have our window. This is gonna be our exit window as well to have here in this mini light. Uh, again, with roller shades on both these windows, they actually both open, I just realized that. So really cool. All right, guys, and I was shocked just a moment ago when I opened this cabinet here, just how deep this pantry space is. Jeez, it's huge. We also have removable shelves in there, which is nice and offer some more flexibility. Again, more storage up above our dinette. We're gonna have a total of four doors and this storage does go all the way through this section here. So really is the length of this slide we have storage. So pretty impressive. All right guys, quick demonstration of turning this uh, U-shaped dinette into bed mode. Up front of this table, it's gonna have a little yellow latch. You just pull that latch open and look how cool this is. It just, you just push it forward and it drops down so we can access the bed mode on this camper. These back cushions actually are the uh, fill in the gap here on this bed. And also this little ve these little Velcro spots, these little Velcro spots that hold the, the cushions up are actually screwed into the wall. So we don't have to worry about those peeling off with time. All right guys, this Rockwood's gonna have a pretty sick setup here for the bunks. If you notice the material on these bunk mattresses, it's a lot more plush, a lot thicker, a lot softer than some of the other manufacturers. But uh, so that's nice. These are double bunks, so double on double. And uh, it's gonna come standard. This camper's gonna come standard with the ladder for the bunks. So no longer having to throw the kids up there or having to jump up top to the top bunk. Now we actually have a ladder installed. We're also going to have some access to additional storage in this camper, which is really nice. You can see how much that opens up the interior of the camper for throwing in the griddle, throwing in a bike, stuff like that. Really nice feature. So also in this bunk space, we're gonna have awesome lighting. We're gonna have 
two of these LED lights up top and we're gonna have one at the bottom bunk. So at all times you're gonna have light in your bunk space. We're also gonna have uh, two large windows in the bunk, one for the top bunk, one for the bottom bunk, still got the roller shades, and we also have a privacy shade as well. Headed into the restroom, on the outside you'll see our thermostat here. So down below the thermostat here, we're gonna have our additional outlets and also our carbon monoxide detector. Super important safety feature that's required on all the campers. This is gonna alert you if there's an unsafe level of carbon monoxide making its way into the inside of this camper. All right guys, so coming in the restroom here, we're gonna have some nice features that do come in handy. If you pay attention up above me here, we're gonna have our vent that is gonna be covered with an air vent up top. I do wanna to do wanna mention that again. Uh, we're also gonna have that window that I mentioned on the exterior. You can see here, it's gonna allow a little bit of light into the bathroom. We're also gonna have our light switch just above our toilet. In this camper is gonna be a Dometic porcelain foot flush toilet. Pretty standard there. Really cool feature that you might already be familiar with is the shower miser water saving system that they have in these Rockwoods. It's gonna save you a ton on water and just be a lot more efficient. For our sink, we're gonna have our standard sink area here that does have a built-in toothbrush holder. We have our vanity up top that does open up as a medicine cabinet type setup. And we also have more storage underneath that in the cabinet below. All right, guys, that was the inside of this Rockwood Mini Light 2509S. I do want to mention on our Funtown RV website, we're going to have a customer toolbox. If you go look at our customer toolbox, this is a great resource for you as you're going to buy your next RV. We have truck sheets there. We have the ability for you to check the tow capacity for all the vehicles that you might have and to see which one might tow the best. We're also going to have links to all of our manufacturers we work with so you can go get your details on manufacturer warranty and just to have your manual on hand. There's a few other cool things in the customer toolbox. When you get the chance, go take a look at that. All right guys, thank you for joining me on that walkthrough of the Rockwood Mini Light 2509S. I do wanna remind you again, this is a part of our 2022 liquidation sale. Our liquidation sale is going on right now and we're looking to make room for the 2023 models that we have coming in. So if you're interested in this camper, there's a ton that we did not cover. We're gonna have a link down below in the description to this unit. And also, if you're looking to purchase this camper, you can also find help on our website doing that as well. Thank you again, and remember, the fun starts here.